everybody. Happy July 20th. Sorry, there's a little glare. I'm going to try and unglare myself. Um, <clears throat> okay, so this is Mars Magical Mondays. Um, great messages today. And um, first thing is that we are um, in a new moon. Today's a new moon. And it's kind of harking back on a month ago. Uh, we were also in a new moon, obviously. And, um, and so some of the same themes may be coming up for you. But um, it's a great time to repair uh, like and love on our home and family situations. Um, so it's a great time to nurture relationships. Um, and, you know, perhaps have a different point of view, look at things from a different way in terms of our home life, um, and, and maybe nurture more this part of our world. Um, fresh look, fresh perspective, but in terms of home, uh, relationship, family, things like that. So, um, perfect timing for me as I'm visiting family. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's what this new moon is about. The energies, again, are just over the top like it's getting boring saying that but it just is the case so um, anything we can continue to do to keep um, supporting ourselves nourishing ourselves um, you know I have been on the road and traveling and um, and you know it's such a joy to quote unquote be you know back home and, and everything at the same time like I haven't meditated and I haven't done yoga <laughs> in a couple of days and I know that I'm reaching the end of my rope on that um, and so yeah so some you know again it's normal to take a break and then you got to put all your self-care back in if, if you if things have dropped off so here's my reminder your reminder and um, our oil of the week is really amazing lemon eucalyptus and so lemon eucalyptus is about protected space. So perfect for this new moon energy. I'm putting some on my wrist and this is going to stay by my bedside and I'm also gonna put it in the diffuser. So it's super helpful if you're feeling overly exposed to the elements and overly exposed to the energies. Anyone being feeling overexposed to the energies? Two hands on that, two feet on that, yeah. So now the other thing is that it's hot, which I love, right? I love the heat, bring it, bring more of it. But it, it pushes us a little bit to our edges, being in like extreme weather, extreme cold, extreme hot. And in New England right now, it's freaking hot. <laughs> it's really hot, it's like in the 90s every day and um, and again, I love it, but it also can feel oppressive. It also can feel um, uh, like it pushes us. So, and then the energy on top of it, of what's happening in the world and the da 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 da, -da and all, all of that. Um, so this helps us to um, protect us. It protects our space, it protects us. So, um, you know, this uh, will help us to create more effective boundaries and maintain our personal space. Yay for personal space. Um, it can uh, cleanse also energetic debris um, and it lessens the impact of challenging energies and challenging situations. Doesn't it feel like, should we always have lemon eucalyptus going in the diffuser, in the car, in our purses? Um, yeah, sounds like it does. Uh, so. You know, it lessens the impact of challenging energies and challenging situations. It frees us up to navigate our lives more independently and more in alignment with who we are. So that is like really a powerful, perfect oil for right now. Lemon eucalyptus, love it. All right, our cards for the day and for our week. Um, how can we most powerfully move into this next week, into this next time, um, into this next, this moon phase? And um, the card that came in was, where can I be more patient? 
Yeah. Where can I be more patient? So what I started off with talking about, you know, our relationships and our on the home front, right? Um, our, our spaces, our home spaces, our family. Um, how can I, you know, where can I be more patient is so huge. And um, I've had that all day today, you know, like my nephew is here and my boys are here and everyone's like having fun and they're playing with the dog and I'm doing sessions and people are walking in in the middle of the session. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's it feels good to just be patient with that. It feels good to just have a smile on my face. So where can I be more patient? Where can we just let things flow? And um, yeah, so enjoy that card. Okay, next card up from Rebecca Campbell, jump in. So um, a perfect card for me. I already kind of live my life like this. Moving in, in, the, in the speed of Mara, um, I do things a little differently than many and um, it's just how it's just how I am and how I how I move in the world and how I've you know chosen to be and so jumping in happens with me um, definitely it's a lot of adventuring saying yes to change and so if that is something that's challenging for you if that's not usually your thing um, the energies right now are really supporting that um, and as many people have had kind of this break from their other life that they were living before this one and I totally get that for some people that was not a break it actually like they had a lot more to do and still have more to do more to take care of but it is a but it, it has opened up a different part of your life a different part of who you are so within that new part of who you are of taking care of things in a different way. How can you jump into what keeps coming up for you in your life? You know, like um, how can you jump into more self-care or doing things differently, doing things how you're drawn to them, which might be different than how you were drawn to them earlier. It really is stepping into your own courage, stepping into your own self, that, that really awesome, ah, uh, blissful part of yourself what makes you smile like on the inside like makes you giggly um, how can you bring more of that into your day um, you know embrace your adaptability like we've all now proven that we are way more adaptable than we ever thought that we were right like hey re hi sweetie how are you um, so we're all way more adaptable we all can handle way more than we ever thought, right? We've been locked down. We've, we haven't been able to do things the way that we did them before. We have proven to ourselves that we can do things differently. Now it's time to have the courage to really walk that walk and talk that talk. What does that really mean? You know, how are we, this is a great time to shift new moon, right? New energies to help us with that and to strengthen that. Okay, Michelle Blanchett's delicious cards, her sigil magic cards. Um, so this one was feelings and concrete. And so what came up for me looking at this card, and by looking at it, you're activating that in you. What are you feeling, right? For me, like feelings move us, you know, um, we can, we laugh, we cry, we yell, we, those are feelings, right? And so it's a lot of movement. And then you have the contrast of concrete, of nothing moving, <laughs> right? Um, it stops us. You know, we feel, uh, we feel these um, energies moving through us and concrete stops them. So where are you, where are you, where am I on this continuum of, of feeling and not feeling really um, also you know we flow in and out of our feelings right and what we are feeling is really what we're just thinking in this moment and if we shift our thoughts we will shift our feelings very quickly 
And if you use some oil, uh, some essential oils, um, that'll happen even faster. Hey, Sean. Yes, I know. I'm excited. Hey, Liza. So, um, so yeah, how can we easily shift or not easy? Sometimes it doesn't feel so easy, right? But we can um, shift our thoughts, which then shift our feelings and have that movement instead of being concrete, instead of having these feelings feel like we can't, we can't change them. It's, this is how I feel. And that kind of paralysis of, well, this is how I feel and being rooted and like, and stuck in that, um, feelings move, you know, and our thoughts change and they can change very quickly. And you can add some essential oil and they will quick, they will really move quickly. So cool card from Michelle today from Sigil Magic. Our final card is really powerful. Um, Osho, you know my man Osho. So, the, so this is, this uh, card is about compromise. And um, oh, I love this message. So compromise um, with this card. Now we're not talking about compromise like, like I wanna see someone else's, or I'm willing to see someone else's point of view. I'm willing to, um, you know, meet some people in the middle on a, um, you know, like, I want Mexican, no, I want Italian food, I want Mexican food. Okay, well, how about tonight we have Mexican food and tomorrow night we have Italian food? Like, that's, you know, pretty normal kind of compromise. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about compromise that leads to confusion. Compromise that we are behaving in a way that's not really us. Compromise because we are pretending. Um, compromise because we're trying to please the outside, please the world, say things that um, people will be okay with. And meanwhile, we're compromising our own ideals, values, our own heart, our own true soul and what we really feel in a situation. Um, compromise can be dangerous because it will confuse you more about who you are. If you keep compromising, if we keep compromising what we know to be right and true to ourselves, but we want everyone to be okay with us and so we compromise, uh, we feel awful about ourselves. We feel like we're being, we're lying. We feel like we're lying to ourselves. We're lying to everyone else. We're not being true to ourselves because Basically, what we're saying to the universe is that approval from the outside in is more is more important than approval from the inside out. How we live our lives in integrity and in our own truth is most important. And we don't have to be super verbal about it. You don't have to post it on Facebook or Instagram. You can just be that. You can be your own truth. And this brings us power, you know, but there has, you know, a part of this whole time period, I feel like is bringing to a head so much of this shadow side of we, that we all have, where we're trying to prove ourselves, we're trying to show that we're a good person, we're trying to feel that we're included in certain groups, and so we have to say things in a certain way, and then we're finding, gosh, I don't know if I believe that or I don't, I don't really feel that. I think that's not right. Our views are changing about politics, about health, about, um, oh my God, about so many things, right? Um, and then it's like, oh my God, I don't feel that way anymore. I feel a different way. Yeah, so all of this compromise leaves us feeling empty and leaves us feeling confused. We become more vulnerable to illness, more vulnerable to um, depression, more vulnerable to, um, mm, to, to really having a low vibration, low frequency. And it does not help the world at all to be like this. 
it's so critical right now that we all keep our vibration as high as we possibly can. And believe you me, it's a wave to ride it. And I know we all have been riding this wave. So, you know, do all the things, right? And I'll do all the things. I'm hopping back on the horse, hopefully later today. But we, you know, have like a family dinner. So anyway, but then I'll be back, back on the horse. Um, and, and just be aware, like, am I compromising myself when I'm saying certain things? When you get that feeling inside of you of, ugh, that, that's not good, right? That's not high vibe. That's not moving us to um, feeling vital and okay. So tap on your heart, right? We've talked about this. Tap on your heart. Use your essential oils. Take time to yourself. Um, get out in nature. For me, it means also being alone. Take some time and spend time alone. Um, breathe, meditate, do yoga, do all of all of the things, um, and journal and come back to yourself, uncompromised. All right, that's it. It's so delicious to be here. See all of you guys. Um, I hope you have a beautiful week. I so look forward to seeing you all next week. Um, it may wind up, it might be a Monday-ish situation as I am back on the move on Monday um, or ha like I have some plans in different places. So, so um, yeah, so it might be Monday-ish or it might be Tuesday. So anyway, love you all. Sending huge amounts of love and light. So much love and so much light to all of you. And um, I'll see you all soon. Bye. Oh. If anyone wants a session, I'm still offering my um, sessions uh, for donation. So um, contact me. You can email me, uh, drmara at drmara.net, D-R-M-A-R-A -A at D-R-M-A-R-A dot net. If I keep popping in, if you keep like remembering or just if that resonates with you, definitely, definitely contact me. Um, you can also message me at Facebook um, as I check that many times, you know, not many times, but a couple times a day. So, all right, all the love everybody and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Thanks, Ray.